Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do an updated makeup routine video. I actually posted this look on Instagram. I was just talking crap on there a few days ago and a few people were like, hey, did you record this? Hey, your skin looks bad, bomb. Hey, hey, hey. And I was like, Fuck. definitely did not record this video, but I had all the products in front of me. These are the ones that I've been using very regularly, if not every day. It's like the perfect combination of products. My skin like really likes this combo. It looks really good. I'm also going to be posting an updated skincare video very shortly shortly so stay tuned for that i'm going to be talking about all the products that my skin has been loving and a few that my skin did not agree with that i'm going to be pushing to the side hear my dog scratching in the background so without further ado let's get into this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you do like this video of course it is super helpful to me so that i kind of know which content to continue making and what kind of to stay away from but yes let's jump into this video routine bitch Okay, now let's jump into some clean skin. The first thing you wanna take is this Vitamin Nectar Glow Water. This one is by Fresh Beauty. Ugh, love the way that it feels on my skin. It just wakes me up before I go in with all of my makeup and I just like to blend that out with my hand. Then I'm gonna go in with the Murad Essential C Daily Moisturizer. This one has SPF 30 in it and I like to apply this under my makeup because I wear SPF every single day protects my skin i feel like it keeps me looking youthful and it also doesn't aid in like making my dark marks any darker taking the it cosmetics your skin but better primer i'm just going to blend that all into my skin before going in with the new beauty blender this one is the wave sponge a lot of people don't know that you're supposed to use it wet so they literally printed wet me right onto it and i'm taking the cover effects power play foundation in g plus 60 and this is the one I'm gonna go in with today. I just applied it directly to the Beauty Blender, sweeping it out and then blending that product out. And I like to do this in padding motions. I feel like this gives me the best coverage. Before I go in with concealer, I'm gonna use the Boing Concealer by Benefit and the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just gonna do some spot concealing First going with the shape tape because this one is tan sand and close to my skin tone. And then I'm just going to apply that same concealer under my eyes. This is to cover up the bags. Taking that same beauty blender and blending that product out so it's nice and smooth. And taking this Smashbox brush and kind of just stippling over those spots to just blend them out so you don't see those little dots. Next, I'm going in with that Boing Concealer, and this is in shade 6, and this is just going to brighten under my eyes. The next product I'm going to be using is one of my favorites, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and this is just going to set my entire T-zone area before I move in with my face powder. Taking the Pure Cosmetics in Medium Dark, this is their 4-in-1 Powder Foundation and an IT Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to go over all of the perimeter of my face to just kind of mattify that so that it lasts throughout the day. This is one of my like favorite face routines. My skin really loves this and it also looks really beautiful. Next is the Candle Glow Powder number no. five by Laura Mercier. And this is like the first product I use just to give me a little bit of definition and a light contour before I go in with the Hoola Caramel by Benefit. And this is really going to carve out my cheekbones. Using that same product, I'm just going to do some light contouring on the side of my nose. Taking that Rose Cut Gems, this is the blush palette by Jouer, taking this peachy tone and this like light pink tone, mixing them together and just giving myself a flush of color right on the cheeks. I like to apply it to the apple and then drag it upward. The Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.75. I'm using this to just carve out my brows. I want them to be not super defined, but I want them to be like nicely shaped so that they kind of go with that wing liner look that I'm going with a little bit later. And I use that spoolie end just to kind of comb all the hairs up before I go in with the brow gel. This is the Boy Girl Brow Gel by MAC Cosmetics. This just gives me more of like an auburn kind of golden look to my brows. 
And this is kind of the start of the show. I don't always do a winged eyeliner, but when I do winged eyeliner, I do winged eyeliner. So this is the Epic Ink Liner. This one is by NYX. Top two favorite liquid liner pens. Love how easy it is to use. And then I'm going to go in with the Damn Girl Mascara. This one is by Too Faced. Coat my lashes, top and bottom, before I go in with my falsies. Don't remember exactly which ones these were. I'm going to try to rack my brain. But they're just some like really pretty wispy lashes. Taking the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Same thing, another one of my favorites. I'm just going to apply it all over while covering my eyes because I don't want the mascara to kind of spread. Taking the LC Eclipse Highlighter. This is in Soul. I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones right above my brow bone and slightly to my nose and in my tear duct any places that i want to bring a little bit more light to taking the precisely liner in chocolate this is by la girl and impulsive and influentially it i'm going to use these two lipsticks and this liner to create this really pretty like neutral lip and here is the final look guys I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If there's any products that you love, let me know down below. So this is the full video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. You don't even understand. And I've been posting more regularly and you guys have been coming through with the love. So thank you for that. I am trying in 2020 a lot harder than I've been trying in other years. My mental health is also in a better place. So that's also giving me some motivation to kind of push through. So yeah, I just wanted to say a quick thank you. I feel like I say thank you in every video, but this was like a little bit more. So yes, thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.